everyone, welcome back to the Gunk YouTube channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a 60s inspired look. I've already prepped and I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. So today what I'm going to do is start with eyes first because we're going to go in with a bold yellow and I'm going to do it in 60s inspired. It's going to be like a modern take on it, I guess. So modernism meets 60s meets bright colours. I'm going to start off using the, once again, e.l.f. eyelid primer, just popping that on the tops of my eyelids, just to make sure that nothing's going to budge. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. I'm going up all the way to the eyebrow and patting it down. And now I've done that, we can get started on the bold colours. For this look today, what I'm going to be using is the James Charles palette. And I'm going to be using the bright canary yellow in this palette, which is this one just here. I'm also going to go in with this one first, just so I can make a nice base. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up with makeup wipe. Now onto the bright yellow. I've just packed that onto my brush, as you can see. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to stamp it on my lid, just like this. I'm just going to arch out just very carefully the front part of my lid and as you can see the two shades are so different in colour what I'm going to do now is start sketching the outside line just got a decent amount of pigment on there I'm just going to drag up, make sure the pigment on the brush is on the upside and I'm just going to sketch out the shape that I want. As you can see when I relax my eye you can still see that shape above the crease and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other eye. So I've added one spray of setting spray into my palette and also onto the brush and I'm just going to dab that on, nice and pigmented. Amazing. And now we've done that, I'm going to go in with another flat brush and pack that pigment down as well. And, and once again, wiping underneath the eyes. Amazing, now that's done, what we're gonna do is focus on our base. I've already primed using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Using is the Garnier BB Cream. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger, pop it under my face like this. Now I've set that down, what I'm going to do is do three squirts of the setting spray. Fan that into my face to make sure it's long lasting. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade Light Ivory underneath my eyes and just to highlight my face. 
once again being very careful to not smudge the beautiful eye work that we've already done. Now I've created such a smooth base, I'm gonna add a touch of blush. Elf Multi-Chrome Stick in the shade Glimmering Guava. I'm just gonna di apply that directly to my face, like so. And I'm gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush. I'm going to pinch my brush so we can get a sharp contour line. And also I'm going to pop some on my forehead, just blending that down. And now we've got that down, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of sparkle to the eyes. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Moon Child palette with another small flat brush and I'm going to take the colour Lucky Clover and pop that on the inner corner of my eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very, very slightly go above the yellow line with the shimmer. Putting away any excess with a fluffy brush. And now what's all left to do is lashes and lips. I'm going to be using the Curl Bounce Mascara from Maybelline just to coat my lashes. You could either keep it quite every day and pop on a nude lip or what I'm going to do is keep it with the primary colours and use a bright red. Cool and I'm just using a liquid lipstick from Rimmel.